But is he uh, splitting the party up, Lisa, by staying in this race? I mean, we all know that if he drops out, his uh, supporters, some of them, will go to Cruz or Trump, and we'll get a clearer idea uh, with a one-on-one -on -one, uh, race. Well, and, and I think Marco Rubio sort of started this election off uh, with all the promise in the world. And he's a great spokesperson. He talks a lot about the 21st century. I think he hits a lot of notes that would be really popular and resonate with voters very strongly in the general election. But if he can't carry his home state, if he only has Puerto Rico and Minnesota under his belt, I just don't believe that the path uh, is there for him uh, in this election. And, mm. and I think it's really difficult to make the case that you're a credible candidate if you don't carry your home state of Florida. What's your path to victory? And I think if John Kasich ends up winning Ohio, that argument for the establishment lane is going to be more on his side. So I just think it's very difficult for Marco Rubio to continue making uh, that argument to donors, to continue making that argument to voters. And, you know, I... I wouldn't be surprised, despite what he's saying, if he does end up dropping out if he loses Florida. Lisa, who is the candidate on that stage that can hit Hillary the hardest when it comes to her time as Secretary of State, the email scandal? Who can carry themselves in the Republican Party during the general election? That's a good question. That's a tough question. And, you know, I think it depends on a couple of different things. I mean, obviously, if you look at just the basic head-to-head uh, -head matchups that we're seeing, you know, Marco Rubio and John Kasich fare the best against Hillary Clinton. That being said, if you look at the candidates who actually seem to have a uh, more probable chance of winning the nomination, that's uh, Donald Trump, that's Marco Rubio. You know, Donald Trump needs about 54 percent of the remaining delegates to win the nomination. Ted Cruz needs, needs 62 percent. And then John Kasich and uh, Ted Cruz are substantially below that. But, you know, I, I think Ted Cruz does make a little bit more of an articulate case when he sort of lays out his indictments.